I think great and excellent chairmen are always going to be great. Uh, I think mediocre ones are going to find it more difficult because the bandwidth that's required for a chair and a board now is ever expanding. This, you know, roles and responsibilities for chairs and NEDs are huge. It's not for the faint hearted. There's a lot of time and energy that has to be put into it. And I think what the pandemic has shown is the need for a very, very resilient board, board with depth of experience and great understanding of their customer base and their industry. Uh, challenging the um, executive team to make sure that they're thinking not only about their uh, operational environment and even the culture, but also what is the competitive environment and what is the what are the needs of the customers out there, uh, which will help them be very clear about what the purpose of the organisation is and where it can really deliver things that are different because I think there's some huge opportunities right now where the world, different aspects of the world are being reinvented for most businesses to, to think about doing things differently. I don't think we're through the pandemic yet and I think boards have got to stay with that as a high risk uh, on, their, on their agenda. Um, but I do think that we've got to start to move, uh, and I think that we'll watch that carefully, but then we've got to start to move into a more strategic position. Because I think COVID, as well as throwing up a lot of risks, will throw up a lot of opportunities. The speed of change is phenomenal at the moment. So again, you're going to have to have a strong board that has the capacity to be able to give as much as they can to the business when the demands are much higher than necessary they've been in the past. Thank you.